Eat Sleep Dreamers, welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to pronounce 10 of your favorite TV shows. Our first one, Game of Thrones. Now, a few key things here. The of in the middle, when of is in the middle of words, sometimes it becomes a weak form. So we don't pronounce it of, we pronounce it of. Of. Now here, I'm blending it into the word game, and it's not even of, it's less than that, it's gamer, Game of Thrones. I love Game of Thrones. Now Thrones, tricky one, that TH sound, that th th Thrones. So really you've got to use your tongue, your top teeth, and to blow out air. Th thrones, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. You try it, make sure you're trying it at home. Game of Thrones. So my favorite program is Game of Thrones. My favorite program is Game of Thrones. Hugely popular, this one, Sherlock. So we've got two sounds here. Sher, Sher. So it's that S-H, Sh. So you're blowing air out, Sherlock. Now, there's a CK at the end, the K, Sherlock. Actually, when we say it, we, we don't say that CK, the K there. We say Sherlock. The stress is on the first syllable. Sherlock. Sherlock. I've just started watching Sherlock. I've just started watching Sherlock. Number three, The Walking Dead. The, the, The Walking Dead. The stress there is on walking. The Walking Dead. Have you seen The Walking Dead? Have you seen The Walking Dead? Okay, try and say that sentence. Have you seen The Walking Dead? Okay, good job. This next one is really popular in Britain. Downton Abbey. Downton Abbey. Now, down, not Downton, Downton. So it's the schwa sound again, ton. Downton Abbey. And the stress on both words is at the, on the first syllable. Downton Abbey. Okay, you have a go. Okay, one more time. Downton Abbey. I've never seen Downton Abbey. I've never seen Downton Abbey. Next one, Modern Family. Modern Family. This one is a bit tricky. Now, with m the word modern, we need our tongue to work a lot, okay? So, I'll do it really slowly. Modern. So the tongue is going dun. So down and up. Modern. Modern, modern family, modern family. It's tr not easy, that one. It's quite tricky. That sound, the tongue has to come down and up again to create it. Modern family. I've watched every episode of Modern Family. I've watched every episode of Modern Family. This one, again, with the of, we don't give it the full sound. We give it a weak form. So it's not house of cards, it's house of cards. Of. Of becomes of when it's in between words. So house of cards. House of cards. House of cards. Your turn. House of cards. I've never watched House of Cards. I've never watched House of Cards. Okay, continuing to talk about weak forms. We've got another one here. How I met your mother. Now your becomes year. How I met your mother. Okay, so um, How I Met Your Mother is super funny. How I Met Your Mother is super funny. Okay, your turn. Good job. Remember, not your mother, your mother. How I Met Your Mother. This next one is really interesting because I think I would pronounce it in two different ways depending on how I feel. So uh, one way would be to pronounce the T's. So pretty little liars, pretty little liars. Sometimes, um, I wouldn't pronounce the T's. It's something called glottalization, where we sometimes don't pronounce the consonant sounds. In this case, T's. This happens in some British English accents. So I might say, pretty little liars. Um, some, I don't know why, sometimes I vary my, my accent, depending on how I feel, I don't know. So sometimes I'll say pretty, and sometimes I'll say pretty, Little, little liars. Um, so you choose the, the English accent you want. Um, I'm not going to tell you which one to choose. Maybe you do both. So 
So pretty little liars or pretty little liars. I, it's up to you. I can only do my accent. Um, of course, there are many, many, many other accents out there. So uh, there's no right or wrong. Your, your accent, you say it the way you want to say it. An American classic, friends. Friends. Now, as you notice there, we don't actually pronounce the D sound there. So instead of saying friends, friends, very hard, we just say friends. Friends. Friends is an absolute classic. Friends is an absolute classic. And finally, the Big Bang Theory. So again, the, the Big Bang Theory. Theory has that TH, th sound, theory once again. So the Big Bang Theory. Have I missed any programs out? Tell me in the comments below, which TV programs did I, uh, did I miss out that, that you love and that you want me to pronounce for you? Let me know in the comments below and I will make another video uh, just for you. And tell me which of these TV programs do you watch? Which ones do you love? Um, and uh, yeah, which ones maybe haven't you seen that you'd like to check out? Finally, let's look at some vocabulary related to TV shows. Now, one TV show is called an episode. So one version of a TV show is called an episode. So for example, my favorite episode of Friends is when Joey wears all of Chandler's clothes. Okay, so my favorite episode of Friends, there's one show, is when Joey wears all of Chandler's clothes. Now, many episodes together is called, well, in British English, we call it a series. So let's say Game of Thrones, there are 10 episodes, and then that, those 10 episodes make one series. In American English, they say, instead of series, they say season. So 10 episodes makes one season. Now in British English, we are more frequently using season as well. I'm hearing it more often with friends, family, even myself. I would say, oh, the new season of Game of Thrones is coming out. The new season of Game of Thrones is coming out. So series and season, the same meaning. One is British English, series. One is American English, season. But now more commonly, Certainly in British English, we are using season as well. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this, please remember to give it a like. Also, if you know anyone that would find this useful, please share it with them. As always, guys, thank you so much for joining me. This is Tom, the English hipster, and you know what time it is. It's time to take your English to the next level.